Hi everyone, this is Chris Steinke from Performance Analytics Life, and today we're going to be talking about one of our share applications, Incident Generators. Now, in order to find this application, you can just go to ServiceNow's Share website. Uh, share has been migrated over to the developer portal, so if you don't have a developer login, you need to create one. Um, but once you have that, uh, you can click on the Share option, go to All Projects, and if you ever want to find our stuff, you can just search for Life. You can find everything from Performance Analytics Life. Today, what we're going to be talking about is the Incident Generator Reports. Now, this is a great example of something where it doesn't have to be really complex and take lots of time to deliver some real rock-solid value. What this dashboard does is it's just a dashboard with a series of reports, but it gives you insight into what's generating all those incidents. Where are they coming from? Which department? which callers, which uh, locations, which area, what, what time during the day, what CI class and manufacturer. And it provides you all that information in one simple to read, um, it's easy to look at dashboard. Uh, the installation is very simple. What I'll do is I'll go over here to my personal developer instance. Now, if you haven't done it already, I recommend that you change your settings from home pages to dashboards. And what happens when you do that is dashboards become your home. So every time I click on this graphic, and let's say that is your own organization's icon or logo, instead of taking you to home pages, it's going to take you over to your dashboards, and then you'll be able to look at those. So in order to install the application, we're going to go over to our retrieved update sets. And you'll select the option on the screen to import update set from XML. Now, you don't need to have Performance Analytics Premium or any of the content packs installed in order to use this incident generator reports. This is just um, standard platform report and dashboard technology. Uh, once you hit upload, it's going to stage that. And then you're going to have to go ahead and preview the record and commit it. So we click on our uh, update set. And now here we are. Um, I may click on Preview Update Set, and it's going to run through. It's going to look for any collisions, right? Oftentimes this happens if you've updated things, but uh, this is all net new content, so you're not going to see any collisions in your systems. You shouldn't have any error messages at this point. Uh, once you're done with that, you'll hit Commit Update Set, and it's going to actually take them from the staging area, load them into your system, and just like that, you're done. And Incident Generators is now one of your dashboards. You can start using it. So let's go take a look at our, at our Incident Generators right now. I'm going to click the Home button, uh, which will navigate me back over to the uh, dashboard menu. And I'm going to type in Generators, and there is my dashboard. So the first thing you're going to notice at the top uh, is a incident created uh, uh, interactive filter. So you can determine uh, what date, time, area that you want to look at. Uh, below that, then you're going to see incidents opened by uh, and incidents by caller. Now, these are a little bit different. Opened by is automatically captured. A caller is something that is typed in or entered in on the ticket by an agent. Um, so sometimes you can see differences in that. Um, over on the right side, we have incidents by VIP. Uh, another nice one, incident by callers manager. Are certain managers consuming or their employees consuming more uh, resources of the organization? Um, here's incident by the caller department. Again, it's the caller department. It's taking the department from the caller record. Uh, by category and by contact type, you can see how tickets are entering into the system. Uh, this is also great if you're planning on uh, a self-service continuous service improvement project. You'll be able to watch those numbers go down. Uh, down below that, we have incident by caller location and category. So this is, gives you some real insight into uh, what sort of resources and what sort of IT services are being consumed on a site-by-site -site basis. Again, this can be some very powerful information as you're planning cost savings or for a continuous service improvement effort to know where you need to dive in and deliver the most value to the most people. Uh, beneath that, there's incidents by caller location and then incidents by location on record. Uh, one thing you may have noticed in the system is that there is a location against a caller record and there's also location is actually a field on the incident. I've included both of these for reference. Um, in most cases, you're almost going to always want to use caller location. 
Uh, next up, we have incidents by hour of day. Uh, I really love this report. I just think it's so neat. Uh, now, on my system, because I haven't opened up tickets during all hours of the day, it doesn't fill in the full 24 hours. But that'll dynamically resize on your own system, and you'll get to see. You know, do you have a big, um, do you have a big bump at 9 a.m. at 10? Uh, where are the resources being utilized most during the hours of the day? Uh, below that, we have some things related to configuration items. So what sort of configuration items are causing most of your incidents? Uh, how about class and manufacturer? You know, this is great information to someone to have both as a support and operations, but also for people who are in uh, finance and, and, and licensing, people who are signing the contracts for these different services. What sort of manufacturers are causing a lot of incidents and what sort of manufacturers are uh, in classes of configuration item or not? Uh, beneath that then we also have incidents by business service. You may not use business service in which case you would see lots of empties on this uh, but if you do that it would, it would fill in and then over here incidents by CI model. Similar to class and manufacturer it's giving us an idea of what models of configuration item are causing issues within our system. So again, very simple, but I really enjoy it. I, and I like working with this sort of, uh, of dashboard with clients because it's always surprising. It's always interesting what shows up and what other uh, information is revealed just by these simple reports. Uh, if you have ideas for improving this report, please let us know. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can reach us over at um, uh, support at performanceanalytics.life. If you have any ideas for a, another dashboard, something that you would like to see or maybe something that you use frequently you think other people would get some value out of, uh, please do let us know. We'd love to hear your ideas. And thanks again for joining us and uh, have a great rest of your day.